Hello my dear students, I hope everybody is fine. So here I am Dr. Minakshi again with my new video of the series Reproduction in Organisms. In my previous video, we had a sexual reproduction in this video. And in this video, we are going to talk about vegetative propagation which is also a part of a sexual reproduction. So, this video से पहले वाले जितने भी videos हैं उनका link जो है मेरे description box में है मेरे channel को like और subscribe करना ना भूलें ताकि मेरे आने वाले videos के बारे में आपको proper तरीके से notifications मिलती रहें और आप उन सब videos को properly देख सकें So, दे ना करते हुए आगे बढ़ते हैं और जानते हैं vegetative propagation के बारे में So, let's start Hello dear students, I hope everybody is fine again. So here I am back with another portion of asexual reproduction that we are going to talk about which is vegetative reproduction. Alright, so you have learned about vegetative reproduction in class plus one. What do you think? Is vegetative reproduction also a type of asexual reproduction? Yes, so what is the answer? Kya hai? Vegetative reproduction is also a type of asexual reproduction. Now, why do you say so? अगर आपको याद हो तो हमने asexual reproduction में पढ़ा था that it does not involve gamete formation and vegetative reproduction also does not involve any type of gamete formation that is why vegetative reproduction is a type of asexual reproduction. All right, done. So इसका मतलब क्या है? Vegetative reproduction is a type of asexual reproduction. हम इसको ऐसा क्यों बोलते हैं? Right? क्यों बोलते हैं ऐसा इसको? Because it is a type of asexual reproduction involving no gamete formation. All right, so there would be no gamete formation. Clear? So that is why it is known as asexual reproduction. Is the term clone applicable to the offspring formed by vegetative reproduction? So, kya hum isko term clone apply kar sakte hain? Answer is no. We cannot apply the term clone because clones are genetically and morphologically similar to their parents whereas it is not generally necessary that the products or offsprings of vegetative reproduction are genetically and morphologically similar to their parents. So the answer is no. We cannot use the term clone for the offsprings produced by vegetative reproduction. I hope you have all the answers here. Let's recapitulate. So, vegetative reproduction is a type of asexual reproduction. We call this asexual reproduction because there is no gamete formation and the term clone is not applicable to the offspring formed by vegetative reproduction. Alright, now let's see. While in animals or other simple organisms, the term asexual is used unambiguously in plants, the term vegetative reproduction is frequently used. Alright, so in plants ke case, mein asexual reproduction ko hum log bolte hai, vegetative propagation. Clear? In plants, units of vegetative propagation such as runner, rhizome, sucker, tuber, offset and bulb are all capable of giving rise to new offspring. These structures are known as vegetative propagules. So what are vegetative propagules? Kya hote hai? These are the structures or units which are all capable of giving rise to new offsprings, right? So obviously since the formation of these structures does not involve two parents, uniparental hai ye, ye biparental nahi hai. The process involved is asexual. That is why vegetative propagation is also asexual. Pali thi, no gamete formation. Second, kya hoti hai ye? Uni Parental. That is why it is a type of asexual reproduction. In some organisms, if the body breaks into distinct pieces or fragments, each fragment grows into an adult which is capable of producing offspring. This mode of asexual reproduction is known as fragmentation. Alright, so fragmentation in case of hydra. Dusra example hai tapeworm. Tapeworm mein bhi kya hoti hai? Fragmentation. Here in this diagram, we can see the various vegetative propagules that we talked about. Alright, kaun kaun se hai? Sabse pehle eyes of potato. We are going to take a look. 
और राइट वॉट आर दी आईज ये नोड है जहाँ से बर्ड्स जर्मिनेट होते हैं और नए प्लांट्स जो है वो उग सकते हैं सो दीज आर दी आईज ऑफ पोटैटो या नोड्स सेकेंड इज राइजोम ऑफ जिंजर सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ राइजोम इज जिंजर विच हैज एडवेंटिशियस बर्ड्स एंड रूट्स प्रेजेंट नेक्स्ट इज बल्बिल ऑफ अगेन सो हियर वर आईज ऑफ पोटैटो राइजोम ऑफ जिंजर एंड बल्बिल्स ऑफ अगेव एंड लीव बर्ड्स ऑफ ब्रायोफाइलम इनको बोलते हैं लीव नॉचेस इन नॉचेस से जो नए प्लांट्स जो हैं वो अराइज होते हैं दीज आर दी नॉचेस हियर और राइट एंड नाउ ऑफ सेट ऑफ वॉटर हियासिन और राइट सो द वेजिटेटिव प्रोपेग्यूल इन केस ऑफ वॉटर हियासिन और इशोर्निया क्रेसिटीज इज दी ऑफ सेट क्लियर सो दीज आर दी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेजिटेटिव प्रोपेग्यूल्स दैट वी हैव टेकन अ लुक एट you must have heard about this scourge of water bodies or about the terror of bengal so this is one of the most important questions that is going to be asked in your exams and almost every time ye question aapse pucha jata hai what is terror of bengal all right question hai what is terror of bengal this is nothing but the aquatic plant water he has since all right so what is terror of bengal water he has since jiska scientific name hai बंगाल एंड विच इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इनवेसिव वीड्स फाउंड ग्रोइंग वेर एवर देर इज टेगनेंट और स्टैंडिंग वॉटर सो वाई इज इट नोन एज टेर ऑफ बेंगाल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पहले वॉट इज टेर ऑफ बेंगाल एंड वाई इज इट नोन एज टेर ऑफ बेंगाल राइट क्लियर सो आंसर क्या है इसका इट ड्रेन्स ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम द वॉटर विच लीड्स टू द डेथ ऑफ फिशेज दिस दैट इज वाई इट इज नोन एज टेर ऑफ बेंगाल You may find it interesting to note that this plant was introduced in India because of its beautiful flowers and shape of leaves. All right. So, this plant को India में लेके आया गया था कहाँ से? Australia से. कहाँ से लेके आए थे? Australia से क्यों लेके आए थे? क्योंकि इसकी जो पत्तियाँ हैं या फिर इसकी leaves हैं वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा pretty और खूबसूरत हैं. इसी देश को introduce किया गया था India में because of its beautiful flowers and shape of leaves. Now, why is it difficult to get rid of it? Next question, जो है यहाँ पे, why is it difficult to get rid of it? जो इसमें से get rid जो है वो difficult क्यों है? All right, this we have to talk about. Why is it difficult to get rid of it? Because it can propagate vegetatively at a phenomenal rate and spread all over the water body in a short period of time. It is very difficult to get rid of them clear so yahan pe humne ek sath teen ke aas pass questions padhe hain pehli cheez what is terror of bengal which plant is known as the terror of bengal and the answer is water hyacinth second it why is it known as terror of bengal because it drains oxygen from water and leads to the death of fishes next question jo yahan pe humne padha wo kya tha why was it introduced in india it is an exotic species which is natively found in australia but was introduced in india because of its beautiful flowers and shape of leaves again next question jo yahan pe aaya wo kya tha why is it difficult to get rid of this invasive weed all right kyun hai ye aisa because it can propagate vegetatively at a phenomenal rate it is interesting to note that asexual reproduction is the common method of reproduction in organisms That have relatively simple organization. मतलब जितने भी unicellular या simple organisms हैं वो सारे के सारे resort करते हैं towards asexual mode of reproduction. कौन से organisms हैं algae and fungi and that they shift to sexual mode of reproduction just before the onset of adverse conditions. Right? So यहाँ पे एक और important point that we have to take a look at कि जितने भी organisms जो asexual mode of reproduction से reproduce करते हैं वो सारे के सारे रिजॉर्ट कर जाते हैं सेक्शुअल मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन पे ड्यूरिंग अनफेवरेबल कंडीशंस सो फाइंड आउट हाउ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एनेबल्स दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू सरवाइव ड्यूरिंग अनफेवरेबल कंडीशंस व्हाई इज सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन फेवर्ड अंडर सच कंडीशंस सो द आंसर टू दिस इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज दैट 
सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन क्योंकि ये बाई पेरेंटल होती है या फिर इसमें जमीट फॉर्मेशन होती है सो देर आर ऑलवेज चांसेस ऑफ वेरिएशन दैट क्रीप इन और ये वेरिएशन जो हैं ये ऑर्गेनिजम्स को बेटर अडेप्ट करने में हेल्प करती हैं टू द अनफेवरेबल एनवायरनमेंट और राइट सो वेरिएशन आर नीडेड फॉर अडेप्टेशन विच हेल्प इन द प्रॉपर सर्वाइवल एंड अडेप्टेशन ऑफ दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू द एडवर्स कंडीशन ए सेक्शुअल और वेजिटेटिव एज वेल एज सेक्शुअल मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन आर एग्जिबिटेड बाई हायर प्लांट्स हायर प्लांट्स क्या हो गए जिम्नोस्पर्म्स एंड एंजियोस्पर्म्स On the other hand, only sexual mode of reproduction is present in most of the animals. So, इसी के साथ हमारा जो asexual mode of reproduction के ऊपर topic है वो complete होता है In my next video, we're going to talk about the sexual mode of reproduction in detail and find out why is sexual mode of reproduction better than asexual mode of reproduction. So, here right now I'm signing off. So until next time, wait for my another video in which we will talk about sexual mode of reproduction. Take care and see you soon.